Agents, if you are like many of our current clients here at Agent Launch, you've probably wondered at some point if the CRM that you're using is the best option out there, or maybe you're on the hunt for a new CRM right now. If that is the case, then you've come to the right place. So without further ado, let's jump into the seven most important elements that your real estate CRM must have. And if you stay till the end of this video, then I'm going to reveal our number one pick here at Agent Launch that we were recommend to all of the agents joining our community as the CRM of choice. Hi guys, my name is Haley and I'm taking over Eric's channel today, but if you work with Agent Launch, you probably already know me pretty well. I am the VP of operations here at Agent Launch and I've been helping realtors integrate themselves into their CRMs for the better part of half a decade now. So I've seen a lot of software, I've seen a lot of CRMs and I know that the decision to change CRMs is is a huge one. My goal today is to make that decision just a little bit easier on you and again highlight the most important elements that we see, many of which might seem simple but are often overlooked. In addition to that, I'm also going to provide some questions that I would be asking. These are answers that I would demand of my CRM. We need to be clear on that your CRM does XYZ things in order for you to be successful. So I'm gonna lay out what kind of questions I would ask and how I would ask them. All right guys, number one. One, the most important feature, but often overlooked, calling and texting. What is the primary purpose of your CRM? Communicating with your leads. But there's so many features that go along with the entire CRM system. This very simple but crucial factor sometimes gets overlooked. Of course, if you are following up with your clients, your leads, everybody under the sun from your CRM, it's paramount that this is a high quality calling and texting experience. So how can you really be sure that your CRM does have the best calling and texting capabilities? Well, here's what I would ask. Number one, how are calls and texts made from the CRM? And ask for examples, ask for them to show you how. Number two, will I be using my own phone number to make calls from the CRM or will I be assigned a different local number? Number three, how am I billed for calls and texts from your CRM? And what are the daily usage limits associated with both? And finally, how are calls and texts actually tracked and recorded in your CRM? Number two, drip campaigns. Drip campaigns, of course, involve calling and texting, but they can do a few other things as well. And not all drip campaigns in every system are created equal. So you'll want to get clear on what can you assign and automate through a drip campaign in your CRM. And again, here are the questions that I would want answers to if I was using any of the CRM systems that are out there. So number one, what types of communication can be sent using your drip campaigns? Are there any other features that your drip campaigns allow for beyond communication? For example, automatically assigning tasks, Number two, how does YouTube or video integrate with your drip campaigns? If you work with Agent Launch, then you know we are all about video. We say video, video, and more video. So it's super important to us that these CRM systems are set up to send your videos and display them nicely in your email communication. And finally, what are actually the options available to trigger a drip campaign in your CRM system? These are good things to know, and then you know what you can set up in terms of workflow from trigger to action. Number three, automation. Now automation and drip campaigns, you might say Haley, you already talked about these. They are very similar, but in some ways, different. Like I said, drip campaigns aren't the only thing that can be automated often in your CRM. So make sure you check in with whichever provider you're using to get clarity on number one, beyond automated communication in your drip campaigns, what other automation features does your CRM offer? This is where features can really get thrown at you. So beware, there are a lot of automated features. You're just trying to get clarity on what they are so you can see where they're actually relevant to you and your business. Number four, API. API actually stands for Application Programming Interface. API is a fancy word that boils down to a software that can be integrated with other API software. <laughs> Seem confusing? All you need to know is that if you have an API capable CRM, that means that you can connect with other API interfaces. Most interfaces now 
now have API capabilities. Now here's the important part. If you do have specific lead sources that you need your CRM to be able to connect to, make sure that there are options to connect to those from the CRM of your choosing. So what would I ask to be sure that my CRM has API capabilities? Pretty simple. I would actually ask, where do I find the API key within the CRM? This is basically a string of numbers and letters that you're going to plug into tools like Zapier or the other API powered platform. It's like your secret key that's not going to allow that software to integrate with the other one. Number five, technical support and training. Now, if you are starting anew with a program, training is paramount. I would look for a CRM that offers multiple channels of support. So that can be phone, text, email. And if you do have a preference, of course, for your communication, make sure that that is a channel that they offer. How can you ask this to vet your CRM for their technical support and training capabilities? Well, I would ask number one, what training do you recommend I start with when I first start working with your CRM? Ask for links, trainings should be on dedicated links with specific videos. Those should be able to be sent to you. Number two, I would make sure I ask, what are the options available to me to actually contact your supports once I start working with the system? Bonus points, you can ask things like where their support is located. You can also ask things like, what's the typical turnaround time for a response from your support team? It's always good to vet these features because the truth of the matter is some of these CRMs have truly abysmal support that will take years off your life. Don't let it happen to you, it's already happened to me. Jumping on to number six, and that is reporting and activity tracking. So what actually does this mean? Why do these go together? Your reporting tool should be your hub for all activities going on in your CRM. You should be able to go into your reporting field and clearly see, all right, how many calls have happened today? How many texts? How many appointments have been set? So if you are aligning with a CRM that's gonna enable you to best meet your measurable activity goals, make sure you align with one that's actually going to track them. The questions that I would ask is, number one, what activities are tracked from the CRM? Are they calls, texts, tasks? Number two, where is the central reporting dashboard in your CRM? And number three, can you see activity broken down by user or do you just see accumulation of activity as a team? All things you want to get clear on, especially the last one if you are a team leader yourself. Number seven, mobile accessibility. If you are like a lot of realtors that I know, you're probably on the go a lot and that's okay. So get a CRM that's going to support support you being on the go. If you are able to align with a CRM that has a fantastic mobile app, you probably will use it daily and that's how you're going to get the best results from it. So if a mobile app is super important to you, what should we ask? <laughs> Very simply put, do you have a mobile app? And for bonus points, I would also ask what features are available on the desktop app that might not be available on your mobile app and vice versa. Well guys, I hope that made some sense to you. And that's it. Those are our top seven elements that every real estate CRM must, must have. And thank you for staying till the end. I do appreciate it. Haven't forgotten about our promise at the beginning. The number one CRM choice for the agent launch community is, please, it is none other than Follow Up Boss. Now, before anybody jumps out of their seat, there are a lot of great CRMs out there. What we know is that our agents using Follow Up Boss seem to have the most disproportionate success compared to those without it. It truly is a fantastic platform. Their training is second to none, and our agents seem to think it's pretty user-friendly. But if you wanna decide for yourself, you can actually click the link in the video description right now and get started with 14 days free to try Follow Up Boss out for yourself. Let us know, love it, hate it, put it in the comments we want to hear if you are using the follow up boss CRM right now. If there's another CRM that you love, that's your CRM of choice. Let us know. And with that, my friends, I hope you have a lot more insight than when you started this video as to how to make this super important decision on what CRM you're going to select to scale and grow your real estate business. This is a super important decision. And now you know the right questions to ask. So hopefully you get the right answers. Thanks a lot, everyone, for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one.